artists can bring something quite unique and new into classroom environments. It's like we get to choose what we want to do and it's like using, doing something different. It's not like maths, English, science, it's like something different. Artists can maybe challenge the way in which things might normally be done. So that can be like working larger scale, for example, or children or students working collaboratively. We've had really fun activities and really interesting, like, like this where making a sculpture is really active. Artists are kind of open and really up for experimenting and um, I think that's quite important to sort of bring into a learning environment. For teachers and children, it shows them new possibilities, new ways in which things can be done. It can like use anything and make anything out of anything. <laughs> This is the third academic year I've been working in the area um, and I'm working with eight schools as part of a consortium. So developing partnerships with the schools and then also between the schools and delivering a quite diverse programme of artist-led work. Each school has a number of artist days. Those projects are quite different depending on the priorities and the nature of the schools. I think the main aim of the consortium work and which underpins all the education work at Bow Arts is about benefiting young people through their learning at school. So I've been working with Sheringham Nursery for the last five weeks, one day a week, and we've been working specifically at family learning, so we've been trying to bring the parents in and work firstly just with me on their own to try and get them to think about making art more with their children at home. And then the last part of each workshop session we bring the children in and I almost let the parent then take over and show the child what they can do from what they've learned already and develop their own confidence. As a mum you get really busy doing different things like when you're at home it's kind of trying to rush around doing chores and stuff and this actually makes you step back a bit and do the fun stuff with your, your child that you don't necessarily always think of doing. We wanted to do a trip and I chose the Matisse uh, cutouts exhibition at the Tate Modern and so the workshops fed both before and after in some way to do with collage and colour and so the first session we looked at natural materials and how you can make sculptures out of natural materials we're looking at shapes then we did collage and we responded to the artwork that we'd seen at the exhibition and then finally this session we've been doing 3D construction with cardboard it's more for like the adults as well as the children so it's inspiring both of them to actually get out there and sort of inspire their kids to introduce them to art and crafts and making them build stuff. Emma from Bow Arts came in to do an art project with our children. So we were doing an IPC topic, um, which is all the foundation subjects together. We were learning about buildings. Started off by drawing, so looking at the basic 2D shapes that you could find in buildings. And then we moved on to more artwork. So we did painting skills with them and did different printing based on the drawings that they'd done. And then all of that was cut up together to make a collage of a city landscape. It's very fun because we can we can get messy and um, we get to do um, paint. It's given me a new range of vocabulary to use and just shown me ways that I can break down art lessons to teach the children. I think the children really enjoyed the project. To start with, they were really worried about getting things wrong. They were looking at art as if it was another subject in school, so there was always a right answer, and it took quite a while for them just to become a little bit free and being able to explore with what they were doing. By the end of the project, you could see them being more ready just to jump in and see where things would go, which was nice. Ah, okay, so like making little... The idea is to use objects and items and trash that we would usually discard or consider as unusable. So anything that the kids can find in the world around them that they would otherwise just throw away, 
can actually be used as a material to create artwork with. Yeah, it's quite interesting. I learned new things that I didn't know before, like how you can make art with lots of materials, because I've never really tried it before. It's like the first time. We usually work on the same thing for a few, a few weeks, whereas in this way, we just about almost learn a different thing every week we come. I think an arts award will help because I'm often not very confident in my work and I always doubt it. But if I get the arts award, then it will tell me that I can do it. I hope that this will give them new skills or new ideas for how to go about things. It might introduce ways of thinking about art that they possibly haven't come across yet. Um, it's helped me see that art is more than just paints and toning and a canvas. It's like, it's technically everywhere. Like, it doesn't matter if you get stuff wrong. You can get messy seeing them respond in such a way that they're, they're so excited and they're so like happy to be making an ah it's like they're hungry for it that is enough to make you go home and and just feel like you've done a good job